Hey there everyone, it's Lester. So today we're going to do something a bit different again. And I've written a little bit of a mystery here, and I was thinking you could follow along. So without further ado, I present Lester's Mystery Theater. Tonight's mystery is... The Mystery of the Missing Wallet. It was 10 o'clock in the evening, and something terrible had happened. A wallet had been stolen from J.R. Peterson, the famous millionaire, who was also killed. Who could have done this? asked Professor Harrison. That's what we're trying to find out, Officer O'Malley reminded him. Oh right, said the professor, I'd forgotten. They sat there in silence until Mrs. Anthony spoke up. Well, are there any clues? Just a few, said the grizzled old police officer. Whoever took the wallet was wearing a wide-brimmed fedora and was roughly five feet tall. And, he hesitated. What is it? asked the professor. Well, it's just that I've been a policeman for 83 years, and whenever something like this happens, it usually has to do with gambling rings. So whoever killed Peterson must have been a gambler. Well, don't look at me, said dirty old Figgis, the hobo who had been sitting in the corner the entire time. I ain't played so much as a game of craps since Kennedy got himself elected. With that, he got up and shambled out of the dusty saloon, got on his horse, and rode into the sunset. But anyway, said Mrs. Anthony, this millionaire, Peterson, right? You said he was also killed. That's right, said Officer O'Malley. But right now we're mostly worried about the wallet. You see, there were several important credit cards in there. Just how important can a credit card be? Swallowed the professor. Well, we'll tell you, said Officer O'Malley. A dead person can't cancel a credit card. And furthermore, I knew who did it based on the clues given in the story. Do you? I guess, he said. You thought you could fool us by having ridden your horse into the sunset, even though it's ten at night and the sun set long ago. But I know you couldn't have done it because you're roughly eight feet tall. But Figgis didn't say anything because he had left several minutes earlier. And Professor Harrison, I know that you tried to trick me by wearing that sombrero. But everyone knows fedoras aren't the same as sombreros, a technicality which was your downfall. The professor blushed modestly and covered his mouth. Yes, I know you all tried your best to fool me, the veteran gumshoe continued. But you overlooked one little detail. He turned to Mrs. Anthony. Mrs. Anthony, how exactly did you know that J.R. Peterson was a man, unless you robbed him? And also you killed him too. Yes, you caught me, said Mrs. Anthony. Officer O'Malley put her in jail, went home, and watched TV. It was a job well done. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, this mystery theater. Um, you know, maybe you got the right answer if you're if you're clever enough. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll draw something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, night, everyone.